bring you now one of the big stories here at home and scientists are meeting in Brisbane later this morning to discuss the news that a dog has tested positive for the Hendra virus. It's the first time the potentially deadly virus has been found in an animal other than a flying fox, a horse or a human. Dr Jeanette Young is Queensland's Chief Medical Officer and she joins us now by phone from Brisbane. Good morning. Good morning. Well it's already been a season like no other. Now is this virus mutating? No, we don't believe there's been any change in the virus. It's actually a particularly stable virus, so we don't expect any changes. But how then can it um, jump a species and um, be found in a dog? We've always known that in a laboratory we could infect other animals with the virus. We just hadn't seen it in nature. And it's really just a matter of the numbers. For, for some reason that we're still trying to work on, we've had 11 outbreaks of um, the virus spilling over from bats to horses this year. Prior to this year, we'd only seen a total of 14 outbreaks since 1994. So we're just seeing a lot more of the virus in bats so that it's crossing over into horses. And now we've got this um, horse that we believe has infected a dog. Well, where was the, the dog in question when, when uh, it was infected? And uh, what other animals are potentially at risk? Yep, the dog was on a property where three horses became infected, so um, we believe it had um, close contact to one of the dead horses. And what about other people at, at the property? Are they at risk? Um, we've been following through with the people, but all of the people at that property had very low exposure to any of those sick horses, so we don't believe they're at risk of getting the virus, but we're continuing to monitor them. Now, there's emergency meetings being held by uh, health officers this morning in Brisbane. What does this mean now for research and also a, will it spur the faster rollout of a vaccine? Um, we'll be looking very carefully at all these issues. This is a quite a significant development in the terms of the vi our understanding of the virus. So as I said, there's been no change to the virus, but we now understand more about it. So we'll just have to work through very carefully what the implications of that are and what it means for possibly other animals. Now we've seen this in a dog, are we likely to see it in a cat or other animals that we know have been able to be infected in a laboratory? Absolutely. Dr Jeanette Young, thank you very much for thank that you. update.